Does this remind you of anything? Ah, ha, ha. There's Selen. Selen again. And... That's exactly what that is. It's a, as I understand it, this is a seed of, of, of stars. Seeds of stars. Yeah, seed of stars. So this is a bunch of sorcerers smushed together. And this is probably what she was expelled for. Making this Azure's Glintstone Staff. Azure. Is this another one of the great sorcerers? Oops. Keep going past it. Staff of the Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. 52 and we're almost there. But it also needs to be upgraded. I guess you'd read this and assume that it was Azure that did this, but... Maybe Azure was incorporated into into this seed of stars. And then this could be some kind of... You might be getting uh, a view into the... Get Trish trying to get the terminology right. Uh, primeval current, which I think it kind of reminds me. First of all, it reminds me of this false sky that we saw in Shofra River, which I've learned that's how it's pronounced, not Siofra. Shofra, Shofra, and also in the towers. The rune towers. Sacrifice. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out more about Azur. And maybe we haven't. I just don't remember. This is why I'd love to be able to be able to search all of the. Um, in the game, I'd love to be able to search all the items and pull up all the items that contain um, the board that you search for. We can jump down there. I think we've been there though, right? Because this is, it connects back to the beginning. Yeah, I think that's where you come out from the beginning. All right, I, I don't think I can go back up, can I? There's no, there's no ladder here. Kind of sucks. Um, all right, so we're, we're going to be teleporting, I think, anyways. Let's go talk to Selene. I'm just curious to see if she says anything. Um, 
we're discovering all this stuff that seems to pertain to her. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the last? I also have another sorcery to buy, don't I? A star shower? Three thousand. What am I doing? Oh God! It's not three thousand, Luckless. That should do it, right? You wish to come very well. You wish to continue very well. That's it. I'm surprised. So what I'd like to do is go back. debate parlor and we can go back that way see if we can find a way to get to that other tower I think we open this door right It might be... Yeah, there. There's a, there's a torch there. Oh, you're gonna shoot me. That's how people die! Here! It all makes sense now. <laughs> we saw that blood stain before. Yeah, the reach on that spell is ridiculous. Okay. I just don't think they'd put stuff up there if I couldn't get there. And it wouldn't be open like that, right? And there's a ladder. And there's an item. Maybe you get, maybe it's from boss ahead. What? Oh, wait, wait, how? Huh? Jumping.
Oh, it works, I think. But I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I fall onto that and then jump? Sir. There's like a hole there. Okay. That's neat. We haven't been there, but we have been where those, where that guy is. I don't, can we make that jump? Okay. Oh, you can. It fell to its death. <laughs> I really didn't think you could make that jump. Should I jump to there next or should I go? Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's such a good spell. I just don't think I can jump back up. It's okay, we can we can come back. Or maybe oh it probably goes up up the tower. Weapon comprised of a spiked cylinder attached to a long pole, capable of dealing strike damage when swung. The spikes induce blood loss, weapon of the marionette soldiers employed by sorcerers. Just, that spell's great. Does the medallion increase the range too? Just potency. It decreases casting time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, that's so neat. Whoa. Take quarters. I am not, I don't think I saw this part before. That's it's tricky to get to. 
And without the messages, I don't think I would have thought to jump, to try to make that jump. <laughs> they just keep trying to put the largest ladders. This is like a, it's like a meme for FromSoft. It's, um, there's one in Metal Gear Solid 3, too, that's competing with FromSoft for the tallest ladder. Let's put on that, that medallion. Just see if anything happens. Because this has got to be the bell tower that's referenced. The full moon crossbow. Uh, detail to you. One of a kind enchanted crossbow of exquisitely detailed craftsmanship made to celebrate the matrimonial union and reconciliation between the houses of the Erd Tree and the full moon. Laindel and Rhea Lucaria. The two rings dance when reloading the weapon. Reveals true worth when used with holy infused bolts. This gives you the kick skill. And we can use it. Doesn't scale with anything? Is there a range on the spell? No, because I see there's a range on on this. 50, so it's not a very long, it's not 47. It's a shorter range. Or maybe that's where the kitty used to play. I don't see the moon. Oh, and then we could jump back down here. Maybe it's a, a hint. We can use we can use the amulet. Did I call it a ring? The rings in the other games. We can use the ring to get back down. Hey, you want to go from the highest spot to the lowest. I must have already gotten that item. We didn't go here. did go to those areas. Okay. I bet you this leads to... That might lead to that area down there. Lazuli Glintstone Crown. Which is the same as the staff, right? No, oh, Azure. Sorry. Sat. Hard to keep track of all this stuff.
So it increases intelligence and dexterity to the detriment of HP. Ah. Cool. Scholars of the Lazuli Conspectus study carrion sorceries, a heterodox pursuit that views the moon as equal to the stars. I guess I'd rather do that, but what's the difference? Lose three int and we gain three dexterity. And we get... Oh, it's even less HP. But more stamina. I don't need less HP. Uh, by the way, I roll like that. Oh, this is this. Yeah, yeah okay, of course. I roll like that because if you just fall down, you will probably fall further. Usually fall further. In my experience, rolling down kind of controls the fall. That that goes all the way back to uh, Bloodborne. There's this really tricky tower section. So what about that area down below? I don't know about that. We're going to have to go... Back to the debate parlor again. Feels like we explored all of that. And next up is going to be this courtyard. So if we look at this... Helmet. That's this guy. The right. Oh, and if you look at the robe that they're wearing. That matches up with Lazuli robe. Okay, yeah. More, more of a school of combat, it seems. And we're, we're back to uh, the courtyard. Before we move on, though, I do want to check out. Where was that? at the church I want to there's that area that we couldn't get to which I kind of thought when we we're exploring uh, the rooftops that uh, we couldn't get to that was down below remember I dropped the gem to see if we'd survive the fall I like those reflections and uh, it was confirmed to me that there's another way to get in there, so. Jeez. Okay, this is a bad spot, spot to... Ah! <laughs> oh, double kill. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad spot to stand if you're fighting those. Oh, also, it was uh, explained to me that this isn't, in fact, um, Renala. This is another sorcerer that uh, we might learn more about in the DLC. It looks a lot like Renala, but now that I'm looking at it, I can see the differences. Okay, yeah, there is a, uh, apparently an illusory wall somewhere down here, I think. Let's see if we can, see if we can find it. Just 
Just, just like is material ahead. Yeah, okay, that's just showing something back there. I just like looking at this. Where would it be? Yeah. I feel like it's over here. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, we were looking down from up above there, and there was some stuff about like uh, about jumping down. So this is a got some graves here. Same carvings on all of them. I like to look at this stuff just to see if there's interesting symbols. Oh, okay. Maybe I should be using the rune arcs. Let's let's use one. We've got a bunch. Just have one in general. Uh, all of those things pop up because my resistances, your resistances go up and your stats go up. So I think it's kind of like, it's weird because your resistances go up. It's like you have a bit of that status effect built up. Even if you don't really, that's how it represents it. I don't know. I don't really get it. Debate parlor. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of research about the wolves and uh, thinking about it, the red wolf, and it, I'm not really sure why it's here. Uh, I didn't read anything to my satisfaction. Uh, it did use sorceries. And we know that uh, Radigan learned sorceries and incantations. Maybe it's protecting something or... It's just was left behind by Radigan for, for some reason. It could be guarding something, protecting something. What do you guys think? What do you guys know? I'd, I'd love some input on that. Because I'm not sure. This is a cool little spot where we can sneak around. I think we saw one of those abductors. Around here, right? This would be a cool spot for a secret. Like you, that's a luxury. Top part. Where? Yeah, there it is. Also, time for revenge. This is what I should have done to that boss. Yeah, you're not so good when, uh, not so effective when there's. Someone's got the high ground. They have no attacks that attack up, right? They have that, they throw their little, their sides, but they can't throw them up. Oh, that might get blocked, yeah. More of this mindless digging, right? Like, is it just because they've lost their mind? Are they searching for something? It's lost? A bit of both? The last thing they were told to do is search for something? We saw those in Limgrave, like these guys in Limgrave too. Just kind of mindlessly digging. Crabs are too. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They're both doing it. Good opportunity to get some runes. Look at that. We're almost at uh, 10,000. And also, someone said that it shows you how many you need now. Oh, oh yeah, 13,000. Excellent. It's only in status, though. Eh? Oh, it should say it in the character status there on the right. So you don't have to specifically go to status, but it is what it is.
This curved stairwell is busted. Where would it have gone though? Like to down, oh. Huh. To down there. And we haven't been there yet, have we? Maybe, I wonder if this goes around to that area below where the stairs would have gone. No. Ah, okay. Oh, that's, okay, that just goes back to where the lift is. That's that guy that we'd go by and he would be like, oh! <laughs> Carl's Glintstone Crown. What is the deal with the crabs having those? Is this some kind of... Are they transformed into these crabs? Like the sorcerer transformed into them? Carlos... Carlos Glintstone Crown. Increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. The Carolos Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's lineages of study. Begat by the Sorcerer Azur. So yeah, these aren't the names of the founders. It's just the what they called the Conspectus, which I'm not really familiar with that word, so I don't really know what it means. I, I would just say like school. Scholars who follow in his footsteps pursue the mysteries of comets. Twin Sage permitted to study excel in sorcery of all kinds. Lazuli is moon equal to the stars. It seems like a better fit for me. We'll get more HP. Oh, and we actually maintain the same stamina as this one. Oh, but it's lower int overall. So I guess we don't need to try to get down to where this stairwell connects to. Because it seems to just go back to where we've been. Not? But can I drop down there? That looks pretty far. It's these ones, right? I don't know if that's worth going down to. I did I know I never went across there, but I think there's a door blocking blocking the way across that little bridge. Is 
that? Whoa! Okay. Big crap. Is that a sleep? Is that a sleep spell? I figured there was some kind of trap, so I wasn't sure what it was. Maybe it's above. A lot of... A lot of appraisals for that one, though. Why do people appraise the message that's clearly a troll? Is they they wish they had left it. They want to be part of the trolling. This is weird construction. Need to talk to the architects about this one. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Shit! Maybe that's why. <laughs> All right, it's been explained. Yeah, I, I knew it. Oh, this one's got runes. Pop one of those things that gives me extra runes. Before I kill the ones that have the golden eyes. This would have been a cool spot for a little a secret that goes around. Weird sound. So It almost seems like it's a dead end, but we can go across here as uh, these messages are showing. I do remember this part. So no surprises. I knew that was coming. I don't know, maybe? There is a guy, I see an item there. Hmm. Okay, so it hits this side over here. I guess people have marked where, where you're safe. I think they should have put an enemy here to surprise you. That way, if you just run past, you get uh, you get surprised. There is a a teleporter over here. Boy, I don't remember where this goes. Let's find out. I don't know if it's based on where it's pointing. Oh, excellent. I wanted to come here. I can level up also. Okay.
the Church of Vows. The coolest, one of the coolest characters in the game. Are they sleeping? Turtle Pope. I actually don't know who that's supposed to be. Gold sewing needle, golden tailoring tools. Do we know someone who might want those? Probably key items. Sewing needle made of gold, unique item made to alter demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala, queen of the full moon, and joined the Carrion line. Huh, something you would use to alter demigod attire. Tailoring tools made from gold, tools brought with the red-haired Radigan when he married into the Carrion line. May, uh, with these, even demigod attire can be altered at a sight of grace. Let me guess. Dog? Praise the god. You are tarnished, aren't you? Oh. I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? It's where Radigan and Renala got married. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? Guess you could have found out elsewhere. Has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here at the Church of Vows that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. <laughs> if you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. I already you. helped myself. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. You guys ready for, uh, some lore drops? Magic Clint Blade creates sigil forms of projectile Clint Blade after delay. An old sorcery of the Carrion royal family. Said to be the prototype of the sword phalanx sorceries wielded by royal enchanted knights. And we've got the Carrion Greatsword. Conjures a magic greatsword that delivers a sweeping blow. Armed with this spell, sorcerers gain the strength of knights, their loyalty sworn to the moon. So we got vows and loyalty with the Carrions. Ah, man, I, I could have bought that. I guess I have something similar already. Incantations, blessings boon. One, one of the ancient Erd Tree incantations grants a blessing to the caster nearby allies, gradually restoring HP. Blessings once fell like tears from the Erd Tree, and this incantation is but a lingering remnant of their power. I feel like I... Did we get this already? Maybe? About Radigan. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle... He soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital 
becoming Queen Marika's second husband and king consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. So why would that happen? Endures to this day why did he leave Renala? Why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. We do know that he studied sorceries. Was it because he wanted to learn? Wanted to enrich himself? He didn't actually love Renala? Maybe he wanted... They wanted a peace because they were at war. And it was... wasn't a, Maybe it wasn't a productive war. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Oh. Interesting. Is this just the same thing? You know, it's said that Lord a famed sculptor when he glimpsed and as such. Okay, what about Renala? You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Karian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was mm -hmm. locked away in the Grand Library. So that's why we see the cuckoo knights around and why have they been given orders to to just do what they need to do because they uh they are soldiers of raya lucaria and they rebelled raya lucaria rebelled against renala i guess this is all this would be after radigan left in the end lady renala was left alone Cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. Yeah. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. And that egg... That golden egg is uh, was Radigan's part of the Elden Ring, I believe. We've I learned that before. You know, it's said that Lord a famed when he glimpsed and as such, it's. Hmm. Could there be a connection between the secret? I actually don't know. I know. Oh, I know what the secret is, but I don't know if there is a connection. But I think it's kind of interesting that we also get this here. can alter demigod attire and it's one of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala. Why would maybe he had to change his clothing? Is that part of his secret? What do you guys think it all means? Is get off this. It's okay. For crying out loud. Oh, I got the at the Ash of War thing though, not the spell. That that uh adds that like great sword attack. Mother trucker. <sighs> What's the way up? It's tricky. It's tricky to frickin' turn. <laughs> Turtle. Turtle dude is like, oh, not another one of these fools. Uh, 
spell. I don't see any items. I just wanted to get up high. Let's see if there's anything. So this is... Um, we were around this area before. There's the artist shack. This is the thing we wanted to check out. I, I really... Oh, yeah, the other thing I wanted to check out. This is where if you attack someone and you piss and attack an NPC and piss them off, you can absolve yourself. You can atone. And I was kind of hoping I could bring back Nephili Lou here, but no, it does not work. Okay. Wait, I want to get these incantations. We're not going to have enough. Okay, I guess we'll have to come back. Oh, there's one of those swords over here. Gonna give us some more ore. The second Lyurnian War. No victory for the golden nor for the moon. No prize but atonement, the birth of a vow. Next to the church. And it was just explained how that war was. Wrapped up, stale so there's a stalemate. They decided to marry to end the war. They're kind of a kind of of equal power. I kinda uh, to me like I would think okay. The golden order needs to needs to prevail. They'll do anything to prevail. Let's figure out the secrets. Of the carrions. So we can more powerful. That could be why, right? Oh yeah, you can alter the Carrion Knight armor, make it lighter. Definitely uh, one of my favorite armors in the game, out of the ones I've seen. Oh, multiplayer. Ah, I didn't know there was. I didn't notice this. You can just choose the thing you want to use. Neat. Group password. You can put a bunch of passwords? Huh. To collect, connect to different people, maybe? Okay. We're going to go back to... Oh! oh! Oh, 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 Actually, let's go back there. We'll talk to Bach. And we have the... We have the extra key for Thops. I was thinking Bach might want this stuff. But I think you have to... Bach the seamster. I'm ready to make a job. Oh. Go As I understand it, you have to get... A... Demigod's armor and then alter it and then talk to him to get that quest line going. But I think we can give Thops his props. Also, we had some bad news for Thops because he was he was skeptical that Selen, who seems to be his mentor, or at least he holds her in high regard, was not was not doing these wild experiments like merging a bunch of sorcerers together. Back to learn another. Wonderful. But we have You're most welcome to any of my anemic little spells. We have some some proof that uh she it might have been true. Give the Academy Glintstone key. certain you're willing to give your Glintstone key to me. My oh my. 
Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the Academy to resume my study of glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> learn another why of course thank you dearly with your blessing I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria oh, perhaps one day you will pay me a visit who knows I may be a decorated sorcerer by then <laughs> thank you dearly with your blessing oh, perhaps who knows <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think he's gone now, but let's just... Let's rest to make sure. Yeah. I think he ends up... He ends up where that, uh, where we found that seed of the stars. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I was I was wrong. We need to go to here. Oh, that's good. Huh, where is this guy? supposed to be here but we got that academy glintstone staff which is new i thought we already had it we i guess we just had similar staffs steve's only a recognized sorcerer is permitted to wield this staff turquoise glintstone embedded in it Different, different type of glintstone. Okay. This is blue. Just a glintstone and then turquoise. And the academy glintstone is more powerful. Ah! <laughs> It's not that great. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. Uh-huh. Oh. Ah. Hey. Oh, that's okay. 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 Yeah. A livinous glintstone crown. A olive, a livinous. Uh, pursuits were deemed worthy, worthy, worthy. Okay. Increased intelligence to detriment of HP. The lineage of the Olivinus Conspectus began with the sorcerer Lusat, and its adherents continue. 
his study of meteors. There you go. It's all coming together. Now, where is this fool? Ah! Ah! F. Let's pay some respects. What did you do, Thops? How did you end up this way? <laughs> It'll last too long, that's for sure. Bell bearing. Academy Glintstone Staff. Thops Barrier. So these ball bearings, you can give them to, um, there's, I think it's like twins or something in the round table hold. And basically it means you can buy their equipment. That's what you get when you kill someone too. Sorcerer Thop's bell bearing found upon his perish flesh. Offered to the twin maiden husks at the round table hold to gain access to new items. Okay. We got this. Thop's Barrier. The lifelong pursuit of Thop's the Bluntstone creates a magic force field that deflects sorceries and incantations. Hold to continuously create barriers. That's cool. Future generations will learn. They will know the foolishness of the sneering sorcerers who ridiculed this theory. Little realizing that it was, in fact, a discovery worthy of a new conspectus of the Academy. Wow. Thop's. I guess Thops kind of realized his dream and then died? Time is weird in this world. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I would like to equip that. That's cool. Just instantly. Or maybe he had, maybe it was always in him and his death put it to creation. Like <laughs> he had to die for it to be revealed. That's kind of a neat story though. Cause he seemed like really down on himself. Like he, but he had, he, he, he was like, you know, I'm just a novice, but he did have ambition. So what are we not using now? I kind of feel like Great Glenstone Shard? Like the Glenstone Comet Shard is way better. Oops. neat. I thought it was going to be more like a shield in front of us. So we use that to reflect the magic back. Okay, let's continue where we were. I don't... You know what? Actually, before we do that, I want to... I kind of want to go back and check this out to see if there's anything else there. Also, we could go back to the round table hold, do a check in there, and see what equipment Thoughts had that we can buy. Oh! That's new. Hey, it's a Thoughts Barrier Ash of War. Oh, you can put it on a shield? That's really cool. Okay, is there anything else? Kind of makes you wonder what those scarabs are all about. They just roll that up. Looks like that's it. Pay some re respect to Thops here. Uh, 
and no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Your addition. This is what he gave us. In more ways than one. Alright. Oh, look at that! A little glintstone action. We have some runes, so I figure we spend them. Although we could get those the magic as well. 